Yo, what is up guys, FCU here, back with another video, and today, we're going to be reviewing the 84 overall Ake. Now, we did review his first in form, which was an 81 overall, and I thought it was pretty solid. So, I'm just hoping this one is a little bit better, as he is an 84 overall. His in-games look really, really solid, uh, although his boosts aren't that much uh, compared to his 81 overall card. But let's just see how he plays in-game. So, first of all, Ake is sitting around 130k on PS4 and 120k on Xbox, so he is still pretty expensive, although I do expect this price to drop quite a bit uh, in the next week. So, first to talk about his positives, the first thing is his tackling. He just seemed to win pretty much every tackle he got into, uh, just taking the ball off the attackers and stopping those crucial, crucial attacks. As you can see here, that would have been a goal if he did not make that tackle. So that was just really, really crucial there. And here he wins two tackles and wins us the ball back. He was just kind of an absolute tank. And also his agility and his kind of pace, he tracked back and he was just really quick to get the ball back for our team, which was really, really incredible. Now, like I said, he was really, really quick, and that helped him to kind of beat the attackers. Even when he got beat, even when his tackling wasn't the best, he was able to get back and actually still win it back, so it didn't even really matter. The next positive that I noticed on this card was his interceptions. He seemed to pick out quite a few passes that um, would have led to pretty dangerous positions and possibly goals, so that was pretty uh, impressive on his card. As you can see there, just stepping in front of the attacker and winning the ball back. Uh, here you can see another one, he steps in front and wins it, and we're able to play out. The next thing is his strength. Now as you can see here, he's not even facing the ball, and he just pushes the guy out of the way, and we just win it. Uh, and he was ba he was backpedaling, so the pace <laughs> with that was pretty impressive as well. Uh, as you can see there, he won another ball. But now let's get into the negatives. So the first thing, as you can see there, was he kind of lost his man quite often. Here's another example on a cross. He just lost his man, and that really probably should have been a goal. So his other negatives were his height. He wasn't the tallest, so he kind of lost a few headers. Um, but that was kind of it. He was a really, really solid player for me. And let's just get into my verdict. So overall, I would give Ake a 9 out of 10 overall rating. He was a really, really solid card for me, and he only had a few negatives, such as his height, and just his marking was a little bit off. But other than that, he was a really, really solid card. But he was pretty expensive at 120k. I think he'll drop to around 90k uh, by the time this Team of the Week is over, but he should uh, still be pretty high in price. So I give him an 8.1 rating for cost. So, yeah. As always, if you guys enjoyed, make sure to like and subscribe, especially if you are new here to the channel. And let me know down in the comments below what you think of Ake, uh, if you think he's a lot worse than what I reviewed him as, or if you think he's a lot better. And I'll see you guys in the next one.